Good morning and welcome to day 117 of my Monroe Challenge. Today I'm walking route number 108, Stob Nabroga, which is the peak of the shoe, and Stob Gerag, which is the red peak. And can you believe it? It's middle of July and I'm having to wear a woolly hat because it's that cold. <laughs> Anyway, not many left, so uh, let's get on with it. So we parked on the busy roadside, lay by. You can see the, uh, the first path going straight up that gully. That was steep. Wow, so looking over there, we've got Stob Do and uh, Stob Corrie Ranak. Uh, they're two for tomorrow. Uh, we're we're going to concentrate on these two today. That looks amazing. It's a bit of cloud coming in, but it's windy, so hopefully it'll blow over. Uh, this is one of those where you can't see how on earth you're going to get over this. It's extremely uh, impassable at the minute. There's Stan waiting for us. So uh, it looks like this path goes straight up this gully. Looks steep at the top so far it's been a good path but we're just getting a bit scrambly now heading towards the uh, the top of this ridge this gully up to that ridge up there just looking down this gully as i said this path cuts through all this rock quite nicely at the minute it looks uh, rather difficult up there but you can see stan uh, I assume that's our track because he's winding his way up. Wow, look at that, it stopped raining just as I got to the top of this gully. That was uh, quite steep that last section. <laughs> bit, of a, bit of a scramble. That car park's filling up where, where I'm parked down there. I was the only car in it earlier. Wow, look at that. That's the first view of the top, you had to nearly get to it before you could see it. Just uh, Stob Gerag. Look at them views. So here we are, Stob Gerag. Like I say, we're just getting engulfed in cloud. Let's see if we can get a view down the glen. road so we're back at the top of the gully and now uh, we're going to follow the ridge round over that top and the drop down to Belak and I believe that's uh, Broga uh, over there hidden in the in the background quite a steady path making navigation easy see it skirting up the side of the mountain like I say that's not a Monroe that one just got out of the wind. So uh, we're going up this top. It's quite steep. Again, a very good path. Story of the day so far. Good paths. So we're at the high point. This next top. Unfortunately, there's no view. We're in cloud. It's actually higher than the uh, next Monroe. So we're just dropping down into this BLAC, which uh, BLAC's at about 850, and I think we're at 1011, so we've got like 150 metres of, of uh, descent. So this weather was not forecast, but never mind. So I'm in the BLAC, and I'm just looking at that path there, wiggling down the side, all the way down to the glen at the bottom. Well, that's our return path home. So. Uh, We'd have to drop as far as a bee like when we're coming back. We got to the uh, the ridge at the top of uh, Broga, and uh, we've got to continue along now till we reach the summit. So here we are, Stubner Broga. Wow, quite a long walk along that ridge when you can't see where you're going. The uh, ridge is just coming into view. Clouds have been blown away momentarily. So we're heading back towards the uh, the BLAC and that footpath that you saw dropping down to the glen below. So we're at the other end of the ridge now. 
I think we're about to, uh, quite a long ridge that. I think we're about to uh, drop off down to the uh, Bielak and that footpath. Just looking up at the uh, Munro, uh, sorry, the non Munro. <laughs> that was the uh, second top. Uh, I think it was 1,011 metres. Uh, so we're, we're back here. I'm just going to drop down to this footpath here and start making our descent down to the uh, the glen and all of a sudden we've got a view. Yep, so here we are. We're at the top of this uh, this path which is going to drop us down. If we find some shelter down there, maybe have a sandwich somewhere. That was a real scramble. <laughs> Stan was on his limit there, I have to say. Look at that, the sun's come out. Typical. Ah, I'm so tempted to uh, cut up to that Bielak and uh, do stob do and stob curry ranak. But I'm organised to do them tomorrow with a friend and then the day after the, we're doing the big ridge. So, uh, and I've got my caravan to move. <laughs> So I can't really. It's a shame really. Just looking back up at the uh, very, very, very steep descent that we've come down. And the road over there, the distance, that's where we're heading, back to the car. Just looking back up the, uh, up the glen, it's uh, another big track that we've followed, lots of people the roadside near the lay-by. I'm packed probably a quarter of a mile up the road once I get to the road. Hi welcome to day 117 of my Munro challenge. Today I walk route number 108. A bit of a transition day moving campsites so it's kind of a half day walk. It's Wednesday the 13th of July and I parked on the lay-by on the main Glencoe road. Uh, busy lay-by so I, because it's transitioned to have my caravan on the back so I set off quite early this morning to uh, to make sure I've got space. So the, the walk starts um, pretty much from the off. You can see the gully that you're going right, to um, walk up and to all intensive purposes you're looking up the gully and you think how on earth am I going to get up there? Uh, but actually it is very steep but there's a very very good path that's been made and you know put slabs in it and uh, it, it weaves and meanders its way all the way up to the top of the gully taking all the difficulty out of it a lot of scree which which you hardly notice i, I was uh, amazed how uh, easy i got to the top of that gully and then you're at a bielak where you hang a left and there's still a path going up the very rocky uh, top to uh, stop jerag um, now you don't actually see the top until you actually get to the summit bit and then you can just see the uh, summit cairn at the end. Um, fabulous top, fabulous vista, um, despite the despite the clouds. Uh, so then you return to the Bielak and pretty much follow the ridge round to the uh, the next top. Um, well, I'm saying to the next top you actually drop to a Bielak and then you climb up to 1011 meters it's, it's a very stiff climb actually um and a very stiff descent to the uh to be like the other side so but it's not a munro um i don't understand how they make munros and not munros but it's not a munro um and the next the next uh climb obviously stomna broga is which is some 60 meters lower <laughs> anyway you, you very steep drop to the Bielak and then you climb up to uh, Stobna Broga um, we, which is just steady away until you get to the ridge I mean I was in clouds so I didn't get to see but the ridge seemed to go on for quite a while uh, until eventually you get to the summit cairn um, and then you retrace your steps until you get back to the uh, that Bielak and you drop down on your left down a very very steep path and it's steep at first but it just gets steeper and steeper and there's a bit of scrambling to do in fact Stan got a bit um, agitated at one point because I'd got down a scramble and he was really struggling with the uh, severity of it um, 
but anyway, we, we we got down and uh, you get to the Glen Bottom and then you follow the uh, the the path, flattish path really, all the way back to the uh, to the road and back to the car park. Now I'd got to the Glen Bottom and I was looking up at Stob Do and Stob Cory Ranak. They're so close and it's so doable to do them both in a day. But I, you know, promised a friend to do them tomorrow or the day after because we've got the ridge as well to do. So uh, Anna was moving, so I decided not to, not to add them to today's walk. Uh, today's walk was ten and a half miles. It was three thousand seven hundred and eighty-five feet of ascent, and it took me six and a half hours. So it's a bit longer than a half day. <laughs> 